all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, when you go through the hot spots of the world's oceans, yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, could you could you tell me their location now? This is something that really excited me because this is the elevation of a sulfur mine in feet. Yes, seventy-one hundred degrees. Oh. But the temperature of sulfuric gases released from the cracks is eleven hundred and twelve degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> now I thought this individual was underneath the ocean. Yeah, but. Well, it's blue around him. Yes, he—he he actually isn't under the ocean. No. <laughs> I was excited for a few minutes. I thought these were underneath the ocean sulfur mines. <laughs> Guy just walked. I didn't—I didn't really notice there was a person there without scuba gear on. Yes, it was all blue. I thought it was part of the whole ocean thing. Yes. <laughs> There isn't any underwater mining going on that <laughs> happens to be releasing large amounts of <laughs> of actual heat. <laughs> I mean, 1112 degrees Fahrenheit underneath the ocean could could cause some sort of bleaching problems or something. <laughs> could you give me the underwater mines of those that are mining for minerals, sulfur? <laughs> I like the idea of mining for sulfur. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, I know, somebody had, oh, look at you, come to find out family in your underwater mineral mining. <laughs> Could you, <laughs> well, I'm just going to need to know the actual corporations that have any legal rights to underwater mining, you know, in the oceans, the seas, deep lakes. <laughs> now, River, I wouldn't think there'd be a lot. Oh, look at it. My, my battery just got charged up. Good for you. Good for you. Now, when you think about underwater mining, <laughs> I was using a desalinator as an, experience. <laughs> an example of how I could uh, desalinate the hot water. <laughs> exactly how do you remove the water around a mine underneath the ocean? <laughs> you don't have any top secret types of um, <laughs> underwater mining operations where you use a super... <laughs> well, let's say you're... Oh, a thousand feet underneath the, the ocean. I, I, that might be seem like a long ways, but... And I, I designed a desalinator made out of very tough recycled tires, approximately 6 to 12 inches in depth, <laughs> or in thickness. <laughs> How much underwater pressure does it take to, uh, to squish a high temperature uh -huh, underwater? Yes, desalinator, which a thousand feet below the surface, <laughs> made from uh, three to 5,000 degree uh, recycled tires. Yes, yes. Now, there's no possible way that any of my inventions could actually facilitate an underwater mine like a personal little city made out of tires. <laughs> You know, I, I made these desalinators <laughs> that thickness <laughs> uh, with the intention of the steam being very, very hot that they produce, but pff, nothing to say I couldn't put something else in there. <laughs> now, let's say you put one of those on the floor of the ocean, approximately a thousand feet below the ocean floor, <laughs> and it's, uh, the square footage was... Uh, Four, uh, 64,000 square feet. Yes. <laughs> Has a little door on the bottom of it. <laughs> Just like a desalinator without a desalinator in it. No! <laughs> I put a drill rig in there, <laughs> and the water doesn't leak in. Does it compress easily? Comparing, <laughs> considering the thickness, <laughs> you want, you want, you have to be able to see at a thousand. Exactly, what is there to see a thousand feet underneath the ocean? <laughs> As I've experienced being in water before, yes, more than ten to fifteen feet, you can't see a whole lot. <laughs> Thought it was dark in there. <laughs> you know the thought is <laughs> 
as a material for the making of desalinators. I can put the desalinator, the actual HHO gas generator, on top of the metal or underneath it. <laughs> or I could take it out. Yes, <laughs> I could just put it on the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> dig it, <laughs> cut a big hole in it. Yes, you could. <laughs> now, I just want to know the amount of pressure that it can experience because of the depth of the ocean of the mining operation. <laughs> 